What's going on, Hit Squad? This is your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all those jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Friday. June the 11th and as I say each and every video smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way and if you're watching just browsing just checking out the channels just checking out the cycles just checking out me in general make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day if you want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is right there in the left-hand corner of the screen, bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Um, it also will be below the video in the hashtag, and there's, it's spelled down in the description box below. First things first, let's get to Madame Nazar's location, which today she's in one of my favorite spots, as if you are an older member, you should know. Right here at this location, Emerald Ranch, Emerald Station area. She's right here, right around the way from the fence right here. So in the Heartland uh, or New Hanover, Heartland Overflow area. But she's right here. She will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know, or not of America, how I personally get to her is I simply run down from my moonshine shack because this is where I spawn. This is where I spawn and this is where I end my game session at, right around this, this area. And then I just run on down to her location because it's not far. Or if I'm not in the area, I suggest you guys just fast travel to Emerald Station and run right there because it's right around the way from the, the area. Take the train tracks down and then at the first little intersection or whatever you want to call it just make that little right and go over to her location uh the next thing that i want to get to is the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle for today is right over here near the eye this is a little area or a little section over here where there's a brick eye kind of in the ground, like right here, if you can see that little, that's what that is, an eye. But there's an overwatch or overlook area, which is a ladder. There's a platform, there's another ladder. There's another platform at the very top. You guys will see your antique alcohol bottle, which is a Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle. I tell you that because of the Moonshine Shack. It's the Moonshine Shack uh, recipe that kind of gets the most money if you you do that recipe and deliver it without any problems. But let's get down here to where we normally do business. I'm zooming in a little bit for you guys so you can see everything. Where everything is as much as possible. All right, the cycles for today, Friday, June the 11th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 5, All Azure Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 6, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 4, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, All Tarot Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 4, and Fossils Cycle 6. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there the cycles a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the twitter and instagram for the channel let's get into these things that we will find across the lemoyne area of the map this is not everything i just basically do this to help you guys out on your journey so i mean even if you have to come all the way this way i'll help you get this side of the map or you know most of the stuff around here out the way anywho starting at the most high, let me get my notes out. Starting at the most high is this coin. I mean, this marker right here is not a coin. This is an antique alcohol bottle right here at this location. Come over here 
and there's a little rock stack a stack of rocks right here where you can reach your hand in and right in between those rocks you guys will pull out a scotch whiskey antique alcohol bottle let's go over here to our next marker which is a fossil right here between the a and t of blue water it's more kind of maybe like right here but right there at that location come over here with your metal detector and you guys will get a random fossil let's go down a little bit where i don't have anything marked over here but there's a coin right here come over here with the metal detector and you will get a random coin if you want to get the cardinal flower there's a cardinal flower about right here so go grab that as well let's go down to lake actually let's go to the word lake right here in this area in in this shack right here there's a little room towards the back in the tall wardrobe at this location, you guys will get a boar bristle brush. So open up the doors to that tall wardrobe or cabinet and you will see a hairbrush or what looks like a brush, but it's a boar bristle brush. Uh, let's go over a little bit to, there's also some stuff over here, but right here at this house, by the O and Bayou, right here at this location, you guys will get another family heirloom. This family heirloom is in the corner, right here, about inside that house. There's a tall green wardrobe in that corner as well. And inside that wardrobe, you guys will get a ebony hairpin. <clears throat> There's also like a cardinal flower down here. Cardinal flowers are a dime a dozen. You probably can collect about five, six, seven, ten of them. <laughs> I mean, a day if you choose to. But let's go over to our next marker. Right here at this location, you guys will get a random fossil. This fossil, as with all other fossils, is randomized. If you guys pay attention to the map, like you see this little dip right here is right really close to that so come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random fossil <clears throat> let's go over here to our next marker which is inside this house this marker is a rosewood hairbrush this rosewood hairbrush is a family heirloom and it's on the red love seat that's inside the cabin you walk into the to, <clears throat> into the cabin and look to your left behind the door, you should see the red love seat. And that's it, that's where your red, rosewood hairbrush sits. If you wanna cross this water real quick, there's a, we're not gonna stay over here, I'm just telling you so I won't forget. But there's a, a family heirloom over here as well next to this big shed or shack or whatever you wanna call it. I feel like it's a big old shed. But you have to come over here with your metal detector. And right here at this location, by the, I guess there's an outhouse, like right next to the outhouse. Come over here with your metal detector and you will get a jade hairpin, which is a family heirloom as well. Let's go over here so we can continue our little trip. Matter of fact, up here, right here. <laughs> then we'll go to that one. Matter of fact, I don't know, I'm everywhere. Right here at this location of this marker, you guys will get a bird egg. Right here, this marker, right here. You guys will get a bird egg. This bird egg is a heron egg, H-E-R-O-N. It's in a tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. If you guys come over here, do not come down this street here. You just go around the back and there's like a little entrance into this backyard to get to this next marker because there's like a, a big brick wall right here <clears throat> come over here to this next marker which there's a white outside um wicker looking uh patio furniture which it looks like a love seat but right here at this location on that chair or love seat you guys will get a new guinea rose with a hairbrush and that's on this white bench that's right here at this location. That is a family heirloom as well. Let's go right here. If you guys want to go inside this mansion, right here on the second floor back balcony, 
there's a tarot card on that table. That tarot card is a Ten of Cups. If you're just going around looking for things. Uh, or if you need it. Uh, there's another marker right here at this location by the A and NWA. If you see that marker, right there at that location, you guys will get another family heirloom, which is a ivory comb. This ivory comb is on a bench that's right here at this location on the porch. Or deck, or whatever you want to call it. Right here at our next marker, inside the cemetery, you guys will get a Benet's Topaz ring. That's B-A-N-A-I-S. Topaz ring. It's inside this large crypt right here. The main crypt, I guess. Crypt. Right here at this location. Go through the gate towards the back shelf. And it's right there on the shelf. Just grab it off. You should get a prompt to grab it. Right here at our next marker, you guys will get a tarot card. This tarot card is in this backyard. Right here at this location. Ne on the table next to a small broken ca cart. This card is a Seven of Swords card, by the way. Let's go over to our next marker, which is kind of at the bottom of the city. Right here at this location, there's a row of carts. Row about five or five or six maybe carts the first cart is your the cart that you jump on jump on the first card jump into the second cart which is like a empty cart where it's like a a big playpen <laughs> that's how i can visually explain it to you guys jump into the big playpen and in one of the corners you guys will see an antique alcohol bottle try to use your eagle eye if you're on ps4 ps5 i know you smashing the um the thumbsticks the thumb button the uh, what do you call it <laughs> these buttons <laughs> to do that anywho <laughs> this antique alcohol bottle is a london dry gin bottle and um yeah let's go over here to our next marker this next marker is another cardinal flower. This cardinal flower spawns over here each over in this area each and every day. And its location helps me indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on, which today is cycle four. Let's go up to our next marker, which right here at this location, come over here with your metal detector right next or right beside this cart. It's like a small broken cart or something like that. That's like in the dirt and all kinds of stuff like that. Come over here at this location with your metal detector. You guys will get another random coin. Um, I don't really see too much else besides remember that family heirloom that's over here. But down here, uh, there's a couple things. There's a... Lost jewelry right here at this inside this house. It's inside the wardrobe in the first room to the right. It's a Thorborn Thor Burn Turquoise Ring, which is a lost jewelry right here at this location inside this house. Uh right here inside this little shack or shed. Well I call it a shed. It looks like a shed a shed. There's a three of pentacles tarot card is on the shelf immediately to the left of the door. I think there's two doors, so I guess you have to figure that out. I think it's this door, this front door. I think you can go out the back end. I'm not 100% sure about that. But let's go up to roads where I have a couple things, about five things for you guys. And then I have one more marker all the way up here for you guys. Um, The two family heirlooms. There's one right here, right next to this square. Come right here at this location with your metal detector and you will get a carved wooden hairpin. And inside the saloon, well, kinda, there's two rooms over here in this area. You can enter them through this back area, but there's a room here and there's a room here. The room that you're looking for is the room where the waypoint is now. And this item is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a goat hairbrush. This hairbrush is in the chest or in a treasure chest at the foot of the bed 
of this second room right here. I call it the second room because second when you get to kind of. Uh, once again, that is a goat hairbrush. There's also a tear card right here inside the gazebo on the table. You guys will get a four of wands. And when that is there, there's a tear card on top of the bank right here in this corner. That tear card is a four of cups. There's also a random lost jury right here at this location, which this lock, this uh, lost jury is directly next to a very large pile of rocks. <laughs> so come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get a random lost jury. Uh, one other thing I wanted to tell you about, there's a little cabinet, like an open cabinet or shelf system or whatever you want to call it right here inside this home. It's like green. So when you walk through the door directly to your right in the corner, you will see the little row of shelves. And on one of those shelves, you will see a nine of cups tarot card. And the last thing that I have to tell you guys about is right here at this marker. This item right here is the is a random arrowhead. Come over here with your metal detector near the tree stump or log that's right here in this area. That's what you will get, a random arrowhead. I cannot tell you what it is because they have randomized. If you guys wanna come over here, there's an antique alcohol bottle inside this house. It's a cognac bottle, C-O-G-N-A-C. It's on top of the bedroom side fireplace. So go grab that as well. There's also like a, a random lost jury up here. So come over here with your metal detector and you'll get that. But that's pretty much it for all the extras I have for you guys. Anywho, the cycles for today, Friday, June the 11th, once again are Family Heirloom Cycle 5, All Luxury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 6, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 4, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, All Tarot Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 4, and Fossil Cycle 6. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 5, All Luxury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 6, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 4, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 5, All Tarot Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 4, and Fossils Cycle 6. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I do see when you guys subscribe. I do see when you guys comment half the time. Because that's when YouTube gives me the comments. Or notifies me that somebody is interacting with me. But if I don't, drop another comment. Let me know, you know that you did. Under the same post or something. I don't know. Anywho, it's your main man, Hitman. Thank you guys for watching once again. And I'm out.